Hey guys. Alright, well I said that this time we were going to go Japanese and we did. Today we're going to be doing Ringyu versus the Ring. Now, a few things to say. Um, I saw the Ring when it came out in theaters 11 years ago. And at the time it was actually one of the few movies that scared me. It's still one of the few movies that I've seen that actually really scared me. Um, now, I've never seen Ringu. I never had a chance to. My brother has it, so I decided to do this one. And I gotta be honest, I loved the original. Ringu was awesome. And I rewatched The Ring, and I've been meaning to do this one for a couple of weeks now but I've kind of been avoiding it just because I have never that I've never seen the ring since I saw it in the theater so I haven't seen this movie for 11 years and it really wasn't that bad you know I think I was just younger then and the ring kind of relies on shock scares more than anything and you know those kind of get to you at times because you're not prepared for them um, but it really wasn't as bad. I was actually able to watch this and enjoy it for what it is. Now, there's only one main difference that I saw between these two movies. And that is simply that the American version goes into a little bit more detail about everything. And the main reason for that is um, Japanese culture has a much easier time accepting anything that's supernatural so they don't need any sort of explanation for it you know Ringu starts off um, you know okay there's a videotape that when you watch it you die seven days later and everybody is just like oh okay well that makes total sense you know they're able to accept things like that a lot easier than American audiences are so in the American version they go into a little bit more backstory there's a lot more disbelief about it, you know, and that part I kind of liked. I like backstory. I like character development. I love that in movies. I like seeing where characters come from, what the story behind everything is, you know. I really, really dug that part of the American version, and I've got to say, for the American version, the one thing that really stands out for it, besides Naomi Watts' performance, and I promise I'm pretty sure that this is the last one that I'm going to do that has Naomi Watts in it. I just happened to catch two in a row. <laughs> Sorry. But, um, is the child who plays Aiden in the American version. He really stood out to me. I, I'm sorry, I meant to look up the actor's name, but I honestly can't remember um, who it is. But it's a little boy in it, and he just really stood out. He was great in it. He gave a really outstanding performance. Um, the Japanese version was, a, to me, a little bit more almost like a murder mystery story that just happened to have a supernatural element into it instead of an actual horror movie. And maybe in Japan, that's all this was, you know? We look at it as, a, in a, as an American audience, we look at it as a horror movie. Maybe in Japan it's just a movie, you know? They're a little bit different. And I like that about it. You know, I love Japanese cinema. I think Japanese cinema is great. There's some really outstanding stuff that comes, out, that comes out of Japan. And this is a new one to add to my list. I really like the original. Um, now, which uh, I'm not going to try to say which one is better, but I will say that I liked the Japanese version a lot more. It was a little bit s more slow paced. The performances were very good, and that's not to say anything about the performances in the in the American version because there's some outstanding actors in the American version. Um, Naomi Watts, Brian Cox, who is always great, you know, it's really good, but I just, uh, I like the Japanese version more, 
Um, it wasn't as scary. There were a couple of shock moments um, more than anything, but it was just, I don't know. I, I don't know how to describe it, but I liked it more. And I would say, if you haven't seen it, check it out, because it's really fantastic. And yes, it's a movie that you're gonna have to read, blah, blah, get over it. Sometimes you have to do that, but check it out, most definitely. Um, that's it for that one. I just wanted to throw out one small note. I wanted to apologize for the King Kong review. Um, I realized that it was a little bit disjointed and out of focus and I was jumping around a lot, but I had a lot of notes for that movie. I was trying to get through it as quick as possible because I really am trying to keep these videos shorter than some of my other reviews. And also, I had just had a five and a half hour marathon of watching the movies. I watched the original King Kong and then the extended edition of the remake back to back. It was 5.30 in the morning. I was trying to get through it. And I apologize. I maybe should have done a little bit better job. I got all the information out that I wanted, but I'm sorry that it was so jumpy. Um, but that's it for this time. I'm not going to give you any sort of preview of which one I'm going to do next because honestly, I don't know yet. I've got a list to choose from. So anyway, till next time, bye.